Uh, may I ask you please to introduce yourself and tell us for which company you are here and what your role is within the company. Sure. Uh, my name is uh, Derek Scheltema. I'm here with uh, Amicorp. Uh, we're a, a global company. We're in more than 40 countries. Uh, we focus on emerging markets. Um, so we help emerging markets companies uh, invest cross-border. Uh, we facilitate cross-border investments. We help them uh, go into other markets. Uh, we do corporate and legal structuring for them. And we also help them to uh, arrange financing and structure their financing so that they can grow and be profitable and prosper. Okay, nice. Um, today uh, you were part of a very interesting uh, panel discussion. Uh, can you tell us more about the theme of this discussion and also your focus within the panel? Right, so we had a great panel uh, today on uh, financing uh, projects, uh, large energy projects. Uh, and of course Suriname has many large energy projects coming up with all the oil fines. Um, so we talked a little bit about how uh, stats only, but also other uh, uh, capital needs are going to are going to um, arise from these oil fines mm -hmm. uh, and all the infrastructure and other developments that are going to take place in Suriname. Um, and we talked about you know how uh, the legal structure within Suriname uh, can use some improvements to be able to attract capital from abroad to to make those investments happen and make uh, Suriname profit from the, from the oil. What was the most important me message you were trying to get across uh, during the panel discussion? Well, I think my, my, what, what, what we help with is uh, uh, structuring the, the financing of these projects. Okay. So um, Suriname has some uh, uh, negative points in terms of uh, you know, the appetite for international investors. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is um, uncertainty in terms of the legal uh, framework. The, the rating, the country rating is not very high. Yeah. Uh, and of course, oil and gas investments have some uh, negative scoring uh, when it comes to ESG. So some investors are stepping out of that. Mm -hmm. um, so we talked a lot about how um, you can structure uh, to avoid some of these concerns that foreign investors may have. Uh, to, to finance and obtain the capital that is needed. Yeah, so there are some uh, yeah, uh, concerns uh, regarding the, the whole financing of uh, our future developments and also the part or the role stats only wants, wants to have or the part they also want, they also want to be the, a part of the bigger picture. But how um, do you think we can, um, yeah, what can your ex expertise mean right. for uh, stats only and help us to improve and uh, yeah, be ready for financing and be a part. Right. Uh, well, well stats, stats only I think did a fantastic job in, in the way they've structured the offshore developments. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, dividing uh, it, it up into blocks and having a variety of different uh, international oil companies uh, take up a production sharing agreement within those blocks. Uh, is great because you diversify the number of international oil companies that are that are exploring, um, and also the fact that Stats Oli has the option to participate for 20% uh, is fantastic because that brings Stats Oli on the table of the project. Uh, Stats Oli will learn a huge amount from those first blocks, uh, and uh, you know if they if things go well, then can perhaps do some uh, some uh, projects or blocks themselves. So I think it, it will be very beneficial to, to Suriname. Uh, but of course, in order to participate for that 20%, they need to raise the capital. Uh, if you look at Block 58, which Total, Total has uh, uh, budgeted $9 billion to, to, uh, to bring up the oil there. Um, and so Stats Oli will, will have to uh, put up 1.8, 20% of that to, uh, to participate, mm -hmm. which uh, again, like I said, is a fantastic opportunity for Stats Oli. And uh, you know we're we're here, let's say, to help out to to structure the financing of that, uh, uh, or give some sh share ideas on structuring the financing of that so that it can happen, and that uh, Stats Oli can participate in this block and hopefully many future blocks. Yeah, because uh, uh, there are certain challenges Stats Oli is facing at the moment, and uh, what role does AmiCorp wants to play if uh, 
in helping stats only do you already have a a, a certain contract with stats only that you are the ones guiding them through the financing uh, challenges well I, I'm not sure whether that that's uh, uh, something that we can disclose at this moment but definitely we, we are helping you know making introductions and and, and using our international network mm -hmm. uh, for there is a collaboration already correct yes yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. but uh, you are not the only one uh, collaborating in this matter? No, Stasoli, I think, has many different advisors and uh, uh, um, uh, also, also, you know, at some point we'll have to appoint uh, a lead bank or uh, 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 an issuer that, that, uh, that will coordinate the financing. Uh, uh, and I think all that is still in preparation. So everybody's working and leading up to that. Yeah. Looking at our future developments in the energy sector, what are you most excited about? Well, one of the great things that I learned at the panel today is, you know, a lot of people talk about ESG, and obviously, oil and gas is not is not very uh, uh, strong on ESG. Um, but uh, the fact that Suriname has net zero uh, uh, carbon emissions uh, is fantastic, and also the fact that the existing energy production in in Suriname. So if you look at electricity, is very has a very large percentage of, of renewable-based energies, um, hydro energy, solar. Uh, so so is already ahead of many other countries in, in that sense, uh, which is great and a nice uh, uh, thing to have on the business card of Suriname. And I think, you know, uh, oil and gas and fossil fuels uh, at some point are going to run out. Uh, but I think it's great for Suriname to to reap the benefits from them and continue what obviously is already being done in Suriname to, to invest those benefits uh, into, into renewable energy sources uh, so that uh, also after fossil fuels disappear, the country will prosper from and, and benefit from, from renewable energy. Nice. Thank you.